right, we are over here at Jimmy's picking up a little premium petroleum. Yeah, gotta pick up the old bear. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, yep. Gonna have to ask the wife to give me a massage tonight. That back hurts. Uh oh. Uh, nope, nope, not gonna happen. Jimmy, I'm not taking that one. Yep, this is more my style right here. All right. All right, locked up, paid Jimmy, I think, what is that, about uh, 20 gallons, so what is that, a few dollars? There you go, man, you, Jimmy, he is sure expensive. All right, Jimmy, keep the five cents as a tip. So you guys loved the first video, and uh, I kind of did something that I kind of realized afterwards, like, oh, that was kind of dumb, like me, uh, saying, this beautiful old truck the truck isn't old because we are in the 50s yep I listened to you so of course gotta knock that off it's it's almost like an instinct to call look at something this beautiful and rugged and not call it old beautiful but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try you guys will probably keep a tally down there how many times I mess up there probably will be some times, trust me. But we are back here in the 50s, and we are trying to make a living. Is this old Billy Bob? Yep, Billy Bob. Over there, get his uh, whiskey. Yep, that's a Susan. Susan is a little bit of a moonshine runner, if you know what I mean. She likes, uh, let's just say uh, she comes by and drops off some uh, pallets. Not gonna tell you what, but uh, we are a customer. Today, we need to get in that pasture. I'm having a hard time with some of my uh, my uh, Jersey cows out there breaking some of their legs. So yeah, we need to fix that. Uh, I don't, I'm thinking we got too many rocks out there, so we're gonna try to pick up some of the rocks. While we're at it, we're gonna pick up some of that manure because we need to get it on the corn stalks so we can uh, plow that stuff under all right move power wagon out of the way I'm thinking we'll probably do use the power wagon here in a little bit all right now the next question is quiet down over there quiet down uh, which tractors do we want to put on the manure spreaders got a few options in here I know, I know, I like collecting. I'm a, I'm a collector. Hmm. We already gave the farm owl some love, so... The John Deere D? I think the John Deere D. John Deere D. Go on the John Deere manure spreader. It's kind of fitting, don't you think? I wonder if we could put some rocks in the back of the manure spreader. It's a thought... Uh, I don't think we want to turn it on that way. You believe I saw the neighbor down the street had something really odd. They had a cab on one of their tractors. Can you believe the, the craziness? What the innovation nowadays? Look, I can reach my hand through this engine compartment right there. All right, start. Well, I forgot I left some of that poo in there from last time. Oops. And I left the gate open again. I know. I'm glad they didn't notice it. I did feed them this morning, and I guess I left the gate open. Sorry. Sorry, I gotta do a better job. I know. I know, Betsy, you didn't notice, did you? Nope. Alright, drive this over here. Looks like we got a big pile of, uh, you know what, the steamy stuff over here. We'll uh, work on that. Alright, got a few more items to get out here. You might, might notice, you're like, where is Farm Boy? You need his help. Yes, I do. Farm Boy, he's currently, uh, he's busy on his farm. Working hard, getting, uh, getting ready for spring planting. Trust me, spring planting is right around the corner. We are going to have a hectic, hectic time out there. That's for sure. The beautiful Massey is going to be put on the Oliver manure spreader. 
What do you think Oliver was thinking when they left the back tines white? Don't think that's gonna last long. I just, yeah, it's it's not gonna last long. Come on, come on, Oliver. Daisy, you stay away from the work area there. We're gonna be uh, working with some equipment. Alright, there we go. Hopefully the 88 starts up. I think I need to fill it up. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Starts up. Get the suction holes down here. Put it in the tank up here. Oh yeah. Yep, filling her up. Oh, this is why I love working so close my house, is I can hear that dinner bell a-ringing. And I know we got the meatloaf. Now, uh, now that we, uh, malingered around long enough, we need to get this manure a-spreadin'. Watch out, watch out. I'm hoping the cattle don't realize that, uh, the gate is open. I, I kind of left it open while I was eating there. Can you believe that? Let's do a little, uh, rush. think she's full put a few loads over here in the Oliver and then start spreading don't think farm boys gonna sh show up that's kind of disappointing so I really don't have a use for two spreaders turns out that's not the case see them big rocks out there yeah we got to take care of them big old rocks because when they walk over them kind of see them cattle they they, just, they don't they can't really phantom like walking around on a giant rock. They would just walk through them. One of their hooves might roll on them, and guess what? That's a trip to the vet that we can't afford. Gotta start picking them up, get them out of the pasture. That's for sure. It might be actually more efficient if uh, we cut the barbed wire and make a little uh, gate on the other side of our little uh, pin there. Wouldn't you think? Like, that probably is a smart idea but, or at least put some gate on that end, so uh, we could just cut right over, because now we gotta go all the way around, drive on the highway, you know, oh, uh, Billy Bob behind us there, he doesn't like driving at uh, eight mile an hour, I don't think. Uh, we're gonna put some heavy manure down here, because I, I'm really gunning to beat the all-time record over here in Wisconsin trying to get uh, 80 bushels to an acre. I think it's doable, but we have to plan everything right. We gotta make sure, you know, we got plenty of uh, the stinky stuff spread all around this field. Watch out, you're over there almost hit, almost in the poo there. Oh, you're in it now. We're gonna take a break from this just because look at Betsy over there walking through these giant rocks we gotta solve this before my vet bill is out of control Daisy you walked right by an open gate right here bet you feel like an idiot we're gonna use the beautiful dodge here fill her up with some rocks Probably uh, overload her with some rocks, more like it. I definitely saw her looking, so let's close this before she gets any ideas. Alright, where do we want to pick up some rocks? I think... Alright, yeah, we got a pretty big... We 
got some giant uh, rock garden over here, so this is probably going to be a good area to start with. All right, lift with your uh, legs, not with your back. Uh, nope, nope, nope. That's going to hurt in the morning. Ugh. Need the Oliver. Need the Oliver, that's for sure. I don't know how this bucket is really going to work for this operation, though. A little bit worried about it, but we're going to see how she does here. Her on up. Oh. oh man, this is gonna be a lot harder than what I thought it was going to be. Definitely need a better operation. Daisy, why are you walking through the rocks? Come on. Push her. Push her, Oliver. Oh. No luck so far. We'll figure this out. I got most of the big boulders here, and trust me, the Oliver, we had to give her a little break. She's getting a little hot. Probably needs some more water. What's Betsy doing over there? Betsy, you're gonna hurt yourself. Get down. That's a girl. Oh. Come on, I'm working over here. Come on. Picking up some of these smaller rocks here. Oh man, this is heavy. Definitely gonna have to need a back rub tonight Ugh. oh oh fell out fell out pick him up yep yep I wonder if one day I could start like uh, a room where I pick heavy stuff up and I put them down pick heavy stuff up and I put them down you know, and uh, just a thought, we could call it a gym. Putting them down. Yep, yep. My wife always told me she picked me because I have a strong back and a weak mind. I don't know exactly what that means. I don't know. But it may be an insult. I think she's loaded. Yeah, you can see a, just a little bit of squat. Look how far the wheels are going down. This was uh, back in the day when them leaf springs were beefed up, you know, when you put a few extra on there just to get a little bit more weight in the back of that girl. Oh, 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 shot she was going to roll out there. Uh, I think a few more. That poor girl. All right, move out of my way, Daisy. Yeah, we got a big load. Ooh, she's doing a little hoppity. Hoppity. What the heck is that cow doing? I think something's wrong. Oh man, she is heavy. Dodge. Oh. Yeah, that's way overloaded. Next load, we're gonna cut it way down. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here in the beautiful Wisconsin. Don't forget, like the channel. You know, leave a comment. Helps me out a ton. You guys are amazing. Catch you all next time. Try to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Yep, she weighed her down. Let's open up this tailgate here. Get the heck out of the way. Here we go. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa, whoa. Watch out. Yep. Let's do a little brake check. Oh, 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 that didn't work how I wanted it to. Shake them all out. Shake them out. Shake them out. Shake them out. Come on. Roll them down the little hill here into our pond. Uh, one of these days I'll get them all out.